Do you know what a sin eater is? Well, that's what we are. We are the sin eaters. It means that we take the moral excrement that we find in this equation and we bury it down deep inside of us so that the rest of our cause can stay pure. That is the job. We are morally indefensible and absolutely necessary. You understand? Now, Peter Bradshaw has yet to see the Bourne legacy, so what we've done is magically transformed him in kind of like a, a brave sort of style into Henry Barnes, who has seen it, and so has Catherine Shord. Catherine, let's start with you. What did you make of the new, improved, supposedly, rebooted Bourne? Um, well, it's, it's sort of superficially quite like the other Bournes, but it's a bit longer, and um, it's got Renner in it as opposed to Damon. And I can't, I've got this sort of problem that I can't quite tell how good or bad it is because I sort of feel like it might be the same, you know, if, if Matt Damon was in the Jeremy Renner part, maybe it would be terribly good. I think the problem is, is Renner. And you're, we, you're totally taken <laughs> by this cover, these like strap this. lines, aren't you? Yeah, we have this up on the wall and it's the Empire interview with him and it's, the tagline is bigger, better, badder Renner. Renner. Mm. And there is something sort of Tr troubling about it's like the Renner, bit, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May contain Renner. <laughs> Added Jeremy Renner. Um, yeah, he is a bit. He's a bit sort of. There's something lacking for me about Renner, um, and so, and so that sort of threw it a bit for me because I think he, you know, he's on screen quite a lot, and um, and if they're going to make the franchise live on, he's going to have to perhaps be a bit more. Uh, interesting yeah. in the other I mean there is other interesting he's stuff he's a decent there. actor though isn't he just maybe just not for this kind of film I'm not sure anymore <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm really not sure I mean it'd be alright if he was an enigma in this because he's a secret agent so that would be fine but mm. he's just a vacuum like he's there's a big empty hole right in the middle of the film and that is where your, your, your action hero is supposed and to be and is that hole in the shape of Matt Damon I guess, yeah, you do kind of miss him because the, the whole thing about the Bourne franchise was that Bourne didn't know who he was, so you felt you were on a voyage of discovery with him, almost like a superhero film. And, and now he knows who he is, and he's Renner. And he's <laughs> turned out he's Jeremy Renner. He's not as good at acting as he thought he was. And he's shorter, too. I don't know, no, let's not get too personal. But <laughs> um, there's just something very uh, unthrilling about this thriller in terms of like they're trying to make it a political kind of commentary on what's going on in the world. It's, there's bits about US attack drones and the idea that the people who are ordering assassinations are completely separated from the actual kind of dirty work of stuff that's going on at the ground. But to kind of feel any of that or to understand any of it, you need to be really with your lead, lead character and you're just not, not there. The last couple of Bourne movies were, you know, among the biggest films of whichever years they were released in. Do you think that there's still a huge audience for, for this one? It's very hard to predict, isn't it? I mean, I'm not sure Renner... Um, <laughs> quite opens in the same way as Damon. Uh, I mean, and you know, this, it's interesting because Tony Gilroy scripted the other ones and he scripted this one, he's also come on to direct. And he's got the idea of, you know, doing an action film. But he's also sort of quite a cerebral guy who's very interested in corporate responsibility. And so there's lots of sort of quite high-end stuff in this. There's mm. this great line that Ed Norton has um, when he's talking to Renner and he says, um, we are the sin eaters. Uh, yeah. What is it? Morally, uh, morally uh, reprehensible. Morally, morally reprehensible and absolutely necessary. Yeah. So there's quite a lot of sort of stuff like Not that. Not sin eater like the one who sang so much oh. <laughs> No. Well, no. that no. would have made a movie. <laughs> you think that Jason Bourne was the whole story? There's a lot more going on here. You've had alterations to two different chromosomes. It's the most exciting development in the history of the science. Well, I'm not just a science project. 